want you to know The best of the world is God loving me all Hello everyone, welcome to LFC Red Forever channel. We won, we are world champions. Nobody can say anything about that now. Man United, remember, we're, you know, you're way uh, ahead of us in the trophy wise, yeah? Okay, well, that's another one. We keep collecting, babe. We keep collecting. Mr. Bobby Firmino scored the goal. After Mane went through on goal, came back round, set up Bobby. But we had to make sure that the ball crossed the line, so he took the goalkeeper and the defender while they were sliding away, tapped it in. To be honest, this game was uh, full of incidents, full of uh, controversy. Um, I was a bit worried it was going to be one of those games um, that uh, we're not going to win. And as everybody knows, um, especially with this FIFA uh, World Club Championships, um, <clears throat> they tend to favour the South American teams. Uh, unless it's a Spanish team uh, who's playing uh, against a South American team, then you know both teams come out to play and the referee is like right down the middle. Due to it being Liverpool, we have to face you know the team we're playing who are like cheating all throughout the game. Plus, the, on top of that, the referee. I can't believe a referee like that was refereeing this game. If you want this competition to be like one of the top ones in the world, don't get referees like that to referee these type of games. I've seen some challenges go on us and then they give the other team the free kick. How does that work? What kind of competition are we w watching here? That penalty is low. I'll, I'll look through different angles and I'll see the guy kick uh, Mane's leg. Well, underneath his foot. So it should have been actually a red card. He gave a yellow card for that, which I couldn't believe. There was no other defender there apart from that guy. So he gave a yellow card and plus gave a free kick outside the box. Uh, sorry, he gave a penalty. And then he went to the VAR to, to watch the screen himself. And then he decided to give a free kick to the other team, which I don't know why. If Mane died, shouldn't he give Mane a yellow card so he could get, get off the pitch for two yellows? I just I I have no idea what happened today. I, I'm glad we won it. I hated it was extra time, but I'm glad we won it. And uh, one deal is enough for me after extra time. I don't I want to see I, I don't want to see the competition again. I just, uh, let's just see the back of it to be honest. But we're world champions now. We was already the best team in the world. We didn't we didn't have to go into this competition, but you know to raise the profile and plus with the Champions League winners, we had to go in it, and uh, we helped them out with that. But Let's be real. Let's be real, people. That game shouldn't be the way it was. We should have won that game ages ago. The first five minutes, we had a few chances and we messed them up. And uh, we gave them a chance to like remain in the game and they could have had their, their goals as well. But, you know, we've got Alisson, we've got Van Dijk at the back. Gomez! Shout out to Gomez. Mate, I can't, I can't argue with you today. You was outstanding. As well as our captain, Mr. Jordan Henderson, who always gets, um, you know, haters everywhere. This is why he's not that captain. He keeps going. He keeps getting the team going throughout the games. And look at that pass for Mane. I mean, if that was um, De Bruyne that was doing that, people would be bragging about it till, you know next week. But it's Henderson. Not many people give him credit. But he's our captain. We love him for the way he is. We don't care about the haters outside there. Well then, Henderson. I've got to give you credit for that, for that son. I like the way you played today. A, a true captain's performance as well. And nobody can take that away from you. The defence done their job today. The attacking side was the issue uh, because we couldn't get them to the game most of the time. But as soon as that other team started tiring, and well, if you call it tiring, uh, even the goalkeeper had a cramp, which I couldn't believe. What, what did the goalkeeper run to to get a cramp? Does that make any sense? If Brazilian teams are like this, then they shouldn't be really in these kind of competitions. I thought Brazil was one of those places where players want to play and, you know, they play tiki-taki tiki -taki football and all that stuff. What's that? You can't come into competitions play like that. Show us what you play, why you're playing. Show us your skills. I mean, you got Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Pele from there. I mean, all acting like Neymar. I mean, it's, maybe it's today's football. They're all like playing like Neymar and uh, the old Brazilian style, the the, the flair and uh, you know, and top class players like R9 don't exist anymore. Romario, see, you could name a lot of great players from Brazil, but this what I saw today, nah, 
No way I'm gonna be like uh, thinking about Brazil that way. No way. Especially when I when I was a kid, I used to like idolize those players. But you know, time times changing, time changes, and uh, you know, unfortunately, players just don't want to play football no more. Cramp everywhere. The the best thing about this uh, football club Liverpool is the manager, the way he got those players fit. Even when we went to extra time, we were still like running, like we was playing like the first minute. And I couldn't believe how good that was. I, I, I am the happiest man in the world. I mean, which which is says a lot, like from the like what we've been suffering in the last ten to twenty years. Uh, Liverpool are back, people. Get behind them. Hate is hate. We're back. We're gonna keep winning more trophies. Especially you, Man United fans. Don't ever forget this team now. They're gonna do more than what your your team was doing in the past. Come on, Liverpool. As for Oxlade Chamberlain, I don't think it's the knee. I think it's the ankle. I don't think it's as serious it, um, it was, because he came out and celebrated with the players. Obviously, he had a he had a he had crutches on, but you know, um, it's not a knee injury. That's the most important thing. Uh, a player landed on his ankle, I think, and then it just twisted it. So hopefully, he'll be out for long, and he'll be back soon. People. World champions. Nobody can say anything else about us. We're the best team in the world now. Remember before we were just saying because of the Champions League winners? No. We're on top of that now. World champions. Get in there, Reds. Please like, share, subscribe. And tune into our Twitter page. Thank you.